Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel GSAPUC Mysuru. This is the third session of the fourth chapter that is feedback in amplifiers. In the last few sessions, that is in the session 1 and the session 2, we saw what exactly is the meaning of feedback and different types of feedback that is positive feedback and negative feedback and again different types of negative feedback that is voltage series negative feedback voltage shunt negative feedback, current series negative feedback and current shunt negative feedback. In today's session, we will be dealing with the expression for the voltage gain of a voltage series negative feedback. So, expression for the voltage gain. So in order to derive an expression for the voltage gain, we are going to use a voltage series negative feedback circuit. Uh, in order to draw that voltage series negative feedback circuit, we need a basic amplifier, basic amplifier which is having a gain of A and a feedback network which is having a gain of beta. Here at the output side we will be ha having RL that is the load resistor and the voltage across that load resistor will be denoted by V0. Since this is a voltage series negative feedback, we are going to extract the output voltage and connect that back to the input of a basic amplifier in series. So in order to extract the output voltage, I will connect uh, these circuits in a shunt manner. That is, I am extracting the output voltage and here I will be having an input voltage source which will be named as Vs and the feedback voltage will be given in series for this circuit. So the voltage whatever is coming here is Vf and the voltage what is appearing here is Vi. So this is the basic circuit what we are going to use in order to uh, derive an expression for the voltage gain of a voltage series negative feedback. Why it is called as a voltage series negative feedback? That is whatever the voltage we have extracted from the output that will be connected in series for the basic amplifier circuit. So using this let us now derive an expression for the voltage gain of a voltage series negative feedback circuit. So in this circuit the current flowing to the basic amplifier let me denote it by I I. So, here feedback network is having a gain of beta and for this feedback network the input what I am applying is V0 and the output what I am getting is Vf. We have already dealt with this in the earlier sessions. So, beta is equal to output divided by input. For this feedback network output is Vf and input is V0. If I am going to alter this expression, I will be getting Vf as beta into V0. So, your Vf value is equal to beta into V0. So, Vs is nothing but the input of the entire ampli amplifier circuit. So, Vs is the uh, input for the amplifier circuit. Vi is the input for the basic amplifier. V0 is nothing but the output voltage. Vf is nothing but the feedback voltage. And the gain of an amplifier circuit without the feedback network that is the open loop gain of an amplifier circuit which will be denoted by A is derived as open loop gain of amplifier is A is equal to open loop gain in the sense I am not giving any kind of feedback. In that case, I will not be having this feedback network. So, if I am going to consider only this particular circuit uh, that is the basic amplifier, the output of this basic amplifier is V0 and the input for this basic amplifier is Vi. So, the gain of an open loop circuit which is equal to A is nothing but output voltage divided by input voltage and the output voltage for this basic amplifier is V0 and the input for that basic amplifier is Vi. So, A is equal to V0 divided by Vi and I can alter the same expression uh, to get the e equation in terms of uh, V0. So, V0 is equal to A into Vi. Let me call this as equation number 1. Now, the closed loop gain 
the closed loop gain of an amplifier circuit which will be denoted by AF is given as AF is the uh, feedback gain that is the closed loop gain. So now I have to see the output as well as the input voltages. So in this particular circuit, V0 is nothing but the output voltage, Vs is the input voltage. Vi will be considered as the input only when I am talking about the open loop gain, uh, only for the basic amplifier, but for the overall circuit which is having a feedback. So now we are talking about the closed loop gain which is denoted by AF. For that, AF will be given as output voltage divided by input voltage. Output voltage is V0 and the input voltage is Vs. So, AF is equal to V0 divided by Vs. Now, the feedback factor, the feedback factor beta of the voltage series negative feedback of voltage series negative feedback is here we have already written that beta is equal to vf divided by v0 so beta is equal to vf divided by v0 i can alter the same expression and write the equation in terms of vs vf vf is equal to beta into v0 let us call this as equation number two now we have to uh, write the net input signal for the basic amplifier. The net input signal for a basic amplifier now is Vs minus Vf because this is a negative feedback circuit. Negative feedback circuit nally, I already told you that uh, the net input will decrease. If we had considered a positive feedback circuit, then Vi will be equal to the sum of these two signals Vs and Vf. But now we have taken a negative feedback circuit so the input for the basic amplifier circuit which is nothing but vi will be written as vi equals vs minus vf but vf is equal to beta times of v0 so vi equals vs minus beta into v0 but we already know that B, V0 is equal to A into VI from equation number 1. So, let us substitute that. VI equals Vs minus beta. V0 in place of V0, I am going to write A into VI. So, let me take this expression uh, to the left hand side. So, VI plus A beta VI is equal to Vs. Now, Vs is equal to, if I am going to take Vi as the common factor, so Vi of 1 plus A beta. Now let us substitute this expression in this equation, that is closed loop gain of an amplifier, then AF is equal to V0 divided by, in place of Vs, let me write Vi into 1 plus A beta, Vi into 1 plus A beta. But if I look into this expression, V0 divided by Vi, V0 divided by Vi is nothing but the open loop gain A. So, which is equal to A divided by 1 plus A beta. In place of V0 divided by Vi, I am writing the open loop gain A. So, this final expression AF is equal to A divided by 1 plus a beta. So, this is the final expression for the closed loop gain which is denoted by AF is equal to A divided by 1 plus A beta where A is nothing but the open loop gain and beta is nothing but the feedback gain or the feedback factor. By looking into this expression AF equals A divided by 1 plus A beta, uh, we can clearly tell that the voltage gain in the negative feedback will decrease by a factor of 1 plus A beta. So, we already know that the net input for the uh, amplifier circuit will decrease in case of negative feedback. Since the net input is decreasing, the overall gain will also decrease. So, the voltage gain in this negative feedback will decrease by a factor of 1 plus A beta. And this itself is the expression for the voltage gain of a voltage series negative feedback circuit. Clear? Now we'll move on to the next topic that is stability in the gain of this 
voltage series negative feedback circuit. Stability in the gain of voltage series negative feedback circuit. Just now we derived an expression for the voltage gain of a uh, voltage series negative feedback circuit which was given by AF is equal to A divided by 1 plus A beta. We know that this product that is A into beta which is nothing but the open loop gain and the feedback factor is obviously very much greater than 1. That is A beta is very much greater than 1. So I can ne just neglect this 1 and write the same expression as AF is equal to A divided by A beta because this product A beta is very much greater than 1. So I am just ignoring this part and writing the same expression as A divided by A beta. By this A and A gets cancelled that is open loop gain gets cancelled. So I will be left with AF is equal to 1 divided by beta. By looking into this expression we can easily tell that the uh, voltage gain or the gain of a negative feedback circuit is dependent on the feedback factor and it is independent of other external parameters or the device parameters like supply voltage and uh, other reason like aging of the circuit components. So the gain of the network is not affected by any of these device parameters because the feedback network consists of elements like that is the stable elements like resistors, inductors as well as capacitors. In oscillators chapters we have seen a tank circuit. A tank circuit consists of either RC circuit or LC circuit or a crystal oscillator circuit. So RC in the RC circuit we are going to use resistor as well as the capacitor. In the LC circuit we are going to use inductor as well as the capacitor. In the crystal uh, oscillator circuit, we are going to use crystal along with the capacitors. So, these are very much stable components. So, the overall voltage gain of this negative feedback circuit will be more stable. So, we can easily tell that the voltage gain or the gain of this negative feedback circuit is much stable. Hence, this negative feedback circuits is most widely used in the circuits where stability is an important parameter. So, these negative feedback networks are used in the circuits where stability is more important. Suppose there is a small change in the internal amplifier circuit, then the corresponding overall gain can be easily found out. Uh, that is the change in the corresponding overall gain can be easily found out by differentiating this expression that is AF is equal to A in divided by 1 plus A beta. So let us do that. We have to differentiate this expression with respect to A. We have to differentiate this expression with respect to A. Differentiating with respect to A. So DAF divided by dA with respect to A in the sense with respect to open loop gain. So daF divided by dA is equal to A divided by 1 plus A beta. So here I have to apply the quotient rule. So according to the quotient rule in the denominator I will be getting the square of the denominator that is 1 plus A beta whole square and for the numerator part 1 plus that is the denominator into differentiation of the numerator. Since I am differentiating with respect to A, then the differentiation of A is 1 minus numerator into differentiation of the denominator. So, 1 is nothing but a constant. So, differentiation of 1 is 0. That is differentiation of constant is 0. So, 0 plus the differentiation of A is equal to 1 and even this is constant so 1 into beta let me write it directly as beta so if i am going to simplify this 1 plus a beta minus a into 0 is 0 a into beta is a beta but with a negative sign so minus a beta whole divided by 1 plus a beta whole square so i will be left with a beta, A beta gets cancelled. So, I will be left with 1 divided by 1 plus A beta whole square. So, this is equal to DAF divided by DA. So, now what we have to do is we have to uh, multiply and divide the RHS by A. Multiply and divide RHS 
by A. Then we will be getting DAF divided by DA which is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus A beta whole square into A divided by A. Now I have to split this expression that is A divided by 1 plus A beta into 1 divided by A into 1 plus A beta. I have split this 1 plus A beta whole square into two different terms 1 plus A beta and 1 plus A beta. So A divided by 1 plus A beta into 1 divided by A into 1 plus A beta. So in the right hand side I am having DAF divided by DA. But we know that A divided by 1 plus A beta is equal to AF. So let me substitute this in this expression DAF divided by DA is equal to AF into 1 divided by A into 1 plus A beta. Now if I am going to alter this expression uh, DAF divided by AF I am just cross multiplying DAF divided by AF is equal to DA divided by A into 1 plus A beta. DA divided by a into 1 plus a beta or I can write this as DAF divided by AF is equal to DA divided by A into 1 divided by 1 plus a beta. So this is the final expression which tells us about the stability in the gain of a voltage series negative feedback network. Since 1 plus a beta is greater than 1 because I am adding some term with 1 in the sense this entire term 1 plus a beta will be obviously greater than 1. So since this 1 plus a beta is greater than 1 the percentage variation in AF will be much less than the percentage variation with A. So in the feedback network we can easily tell that the percentage change in AF is much less than the percentage variation in the A. That is, even though there is a change in A, that is the open loop gain, then there is a small variation in the overall gain, which is nothing but AF. So this is the stability of the gain in the voltage series negative feedback circuit. Since these feedback circuit contains the parameters like resistors, capacitors and the inductors which are highly stable, then the overall circuit or the overall amplifier circuit will be much stable. Clear? So let me conclude this session at this point. In today's session, we derived an expression for the voltage gain of a voltage series negative feedback circuit and we also studied about the stability gain, uh, stability in the gain of a voltage series negative feedback circuit. In my next session, I'll be coming with few more topics. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.